we're getting more behind the scenes intel from uh, about Trump, right? It's about Trump from uh, Chris Christie. He's actually going to be our guest on the night of the State of the Union, whether or not it happens. Uh, he will be here because he has a new memoir out, which is surprising because when we last saw Christie, it was slowly dawning on him that a cruel <laughs> traveling salesman had stolen all his hopes and dreams. <laughs> now. Uh, his book chronicles his time in Trump's inner circle and is called Let Me Finish. And how dare you suggest that the original title was Are You Gonna Finish That? <laughs> Shame on you. Shame on you for thinking that. No. Now, in the book, Christie writes that the president, quote, trusts people he shouldn't, including some of the people who are closest to him, calling his team a revolving door of deeply flawed individuals, amateurs, grifters, weaklings, convicted and unconvicted felons. Yeah. And that's just Don Jr. <laughs> now, America's favorite son. America's favorite son. He's a good guy. You'd like him. The governor also reveals details of his first time meeting Trump at a dinner in 2002. Trump pulled a power move at the dinner, ordering Christie's food for him. He chose scallops, to which Christie is allergic, <laughs> and lamb, which he has always detested. <laughs> Hold on, Chris, I got this. The gentleman will have, uh, he'll, uh, what do you want? He'll start with a rash, and then he will have <laughs> the dry heaves. Thank you. <laughs> Christie was, uh, he, uh, dry heave, applauding for the dry heaves tonight. Very much. Yes. Fans of the heat. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's a skill. Christie, Christie was insulted, wondering whether Trump took him to be, quote, one of his chicks. Well, check your bank account. Is there $130,000 in there? <laughs> no? Okay. Just look to see. Trump also laid into Christie's appearance, telling him, you got to look better to be able to win in politics, specifically exhorting Christie to wear a longer tie as it would make him look thinner. Aha! My God, he does it on purpose. Look, it works. They're so busy following you up and down, they never look sideways. <laughs> but Christie, Christie... Christie saves his harshest words for a White House advisor and sentient trust fund, Jared Kushner. You see, Christie was a U.S. attorney for New Jersey, and uh, while he was, he sent Kushner's father to jail. And according to Christie, yeah. evidently Kushner hasn't quite let it go. <laughs> After Christie was put in charge of Trump's transition team, he was quickly fired. Christie writes, one person only was responsible for the faceless execution, Jared Kushner. Boom! Kushner shut Christie down like the George Washington Bridge. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight.